before installation. Your GT06N includes the following components. One GT06N, one power cord, one relay, one microphone, and one SOS button. Get a 2G SIM card from local mobile operator. Make sure your card has access to GPRS service, SMS, as well as voice calls. Take out device and accessories. Find the slot and insert the SIM card. Turn on the device. Send SMS to set up the device. Usually, it is APN and server. Notice, if the SIM card comes from main mobile operators, you don't need to set APN that would be automatically connected. Before you proceed, make sure the device is online. Get the power cord, find out the red line and black line first. Connect the red line to the positive side of the battery. There are four wires on the relay. One is yellow, two are green, and another is white. If you want to cut off patrol or power, connect the white one to the positive side of power, 12 to 24 volts. The white line should be connected to ACC line. The other two green lines should be connected with pump line. while the yellow line is to be connected with the Relay 86. Send SMS to set the SOS number and center number. As the setting is done, you can send SMS command to the device to cut off petrol or power. and the black line to the negative side.
check the device status through signal light after power on. First is the red light. If it is always on, it indicates that the battery is charging. If it flickers every two seconds, it means the battery is fully charged. Second is the green light. When green light is always on, it shows GPRS is searching for connection. When it flickers slowly, this indicates GSM is working normally. Last is the blue light. GPS positioned when blue light is always on. When device is normally working, blue light is always on, green light flickers slowly, and red light flashes slowly or keeps on. The best installation place should be shelter without metal cover, in case of being found. Here are places suggested. In the shelter or decorative sheet below the front windshield. Around the shelter of front dashboard. And below the decorative sheet of rear windshield.